Hi everybody, uh, welcome to With Luck by Carrie. Uh, I had a few people asking me um, how to convert your silhouette mat to a cricket mat so that you use it in your machine, in your silhouette machine, so that um, it's able to align right and also you could do print and cuts and everything. I find the cricket mats are a lot less expensive than the, the, um, the silhouette mats, so um, I've been using them and I have a lot of them because when I do my print and cuts, I do all my papers on one at once and then I take everything off as I'm working, as you could tell in some of my other videos. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how I measure it to make sure that it works properly with the silhouette machine. Um, Okay, so let's get started. Um, Ebony, I hope you're watching this because you had texted me the other day and asked me um, if you could use the silo if you could use the Cricut mat with the silhouette because they were out of silhouette mats. So here we go. What I'm going to do is obviously we have to take it out of the package. Um, I already did one before, so um, here's my other one. So we're going to take them the mat off. Um, for the people that I am making this a point to tell, um, you know who you are. Okay, so we're taking the mat off and we're taking an old silhouette mat. Now these, I find, always run out a lot faster than the Cricut mats. Um, Alright, so let me push the camera down so that you could see what I'm doing in terms of um, putting it together. Um, you're going to need a very sharp X-Acto knife or a box cutter and a metal ruler. Um, and that's about it. So, and excuse my mess in the back. Um, I've been working like crazy and I haven't had a chance to do any cleaning of my apartment and I'm kind of embarrassed. So, um, here we go. All right, so let me move this down for you. Hold on. So you can see what I'm doing. All right. I hope everybody could see what I'm doing. Yeah, it looks so elongated. All right. So on your mat, on the silhouette mat, you know where you're going to put your paper inside the boxes, obviously, so that the edges are open. Okay. You're going to match up the corner of your one inch on your silhouette with the corner of the one inch on your Cricut, okay? And then you'll notice that there's a difference in size. People sometimes just put the Cricut mat right into their silhouette machine and um, their cuts are off by probably a fourth of an inch um, off to the side and also on the top. Those are the only two places we're going to be cutting is the top and your left side of the mat. Okay, so what I do is I'll measure, I'll line them up, and you kind of have to do it carefully so that you can see where you're going. I try to use a clean silhouette mat so that I can see through it. These are all dirty. Hold on a second. Because once you put this down, it's going to stick. Let's see. My lighting... I always have a problem with my lighting. Okay, there we go. That's that corner. And then measure it all the way down to the bottom. And make sure your black line on your silhouette mat is matching up with the white line on your Cricut mat. And then just let it fall down. And now they're attached. Okay. And as you can see, I drew a black line along, along the top and along the side. You can see the difference in size. I don't know. Can you see that? There you go. All right. So now that we have that on there, what I do is I have my X-Acto knife. I don't know how sharp this blade is. I really should change it. I don't know where my blades are. Oh, here's one. Nope, that's not the right blade. All right. I thought I was going to get lucky. All right. So that's no good. All right. So anyway. Then I take a metal ruler 
And whichever way is easier for you to cut. Um, I always change it up. I'm going to do it upside down because I like to hold the ruler with my left hand and cut with my right. And then what I do is I line my ruler up on top of your silhouette mat. And then cutting through the Cricut mat, it's thick. So just so that you're aware, um, you're going to have to do a few cuts. So don't just cut and then remove your ruler because if you do that, then you're going to wind up losing your spot as to where you've been cutting. Um, again, it's very thick, so you're going to have to just go slow the first time drawing your cut and then go over it again. And again, and you'll know when you're through. See, I'm not through yet. Nope. Try it again. Come on, just this last one. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Ugh, oh, come on. Don't laugh. That's because my knife's not sharp enough. And sometimes when you get get it going, I don't want to take my ruler up. It's still not cutting through. This sucker. There we go. This one went through. And sometimes if you get it through, at the beginning, you could kind of pull it a little bit like that, and it'll start going. If you cut your silhouette mat a little bit, it's no big deal because everybody, when you're cutting on it with, you know, say you're doing a print and cut. You know, sometimes your machine doesn't recognize it. You just move it over just a tad bit and it works. So that's through. Now we have to pick up the ruler and do the rest of it. Let's slide that under there. And you'll notice it's not a big difference. It's just enough to make it so that it doesn't work. See, you just cut it through a little bit. And if I told you, this is probably not even a fourth of an inch. It's probably a sixteenth of an inch or maybe a little bit more. It's in between a fourth and a sixth and eighth. So, like I said, it's nothing. Now the top part is a little, about a quarter of an inch. So that's big. So you'll notice when you're cutting with the Cricut mat, if you don't cut it, it's your cutting starts um, earlier. So if you have um, your design all the way to the edge of your mat on your program, um, it's going to cut it off if you don't cut off the top of your Cricut mat. Because again, because it'll start that quarter of an inch beforehand cutting if you have your design completely up to the top. Okay, so let's get this cut. And once you cut this, the hole at the top of your Cricut mat becomes very sharp because you're going to wind up, um, you'll see in a minute, what I'm talking about. Because you cut right into that hole that you could hook it. finish cutting this and I'll show you what I'm talking about in terms of um, that being very sharp. I've got myself good with a few cuts from it. Let me just 
just a little bit more. I know you guys are being very patient. When you move your ruler, make sure that you got it in the right spot. But like I said, if you use a new need uh, a new needle, <laughs> a new blade, you'll be able to cut through it a lot faster. There we go. All right. See what I'm talking about? This one was pretty big. And then you take your silhouette mat off, and your Cricut mat is perfect to be cut on here. Um, and what I was talking about with the hole. So you see how this is open right here? Um, these points are very sharp, so you could do what you want with them. I usually take a piece of um, regular scotch tape, and I'll put it over it. On both sides. so that this way the hole's not there and I don't get my finger like I always do. And just like that. And see I have the tape on there? Okay. So that's done. And what I'm going to do is put my cover back on it so that we don't get lint and dust. And of course the cover is not going to fit properly so if you wanted to cut your cover a little bit to make it fit properly you can because now you have this hanging off the sides. But that's how you cut your Cricut mat. Um, I've had a few people ask me also what kind of glue I use. And I want you to know that I use the Tombow. I absolutely love this glue. It's not a large bottle, but it lasts a long time if it use, you use it the right way. Um, it's not even a full ounce, um, but like I said in a few of my other videos, less is more when it comes to using the Tombow because this is like glue, it's like cement when it comes to paper. Um, oops, I just threw it on the ground. And that's it for now. Um, I want everybody to know, have a happy holiday. And um, I know it's been a while since I recorded, and um, I'm going to try to get in another recording. Um, very shortly, I wanted somebody had asked me about my carousel horse that I do and how I assemble it. So I'm going to probably do one of those um, in probably maybe tonight. Maybe when I get back from the little party that I'm doing, um, I'll maybe do it tonight. So then you guys have something to look forward to. Have yourself a wonderful day. Keep warm because here in New York it's cold and we had our first snowfall. Um, see you later. Bye-bye and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.